In today's video, you'll see three dresses that are made from the exact same bodice, but there are differences made to the skirt, very easy changes. It's really fun to use the bodice of a dress that you already know fits and that you already love. And just making a few slight changes to the skirt to have a little bit of a different look. And I'm sharing all those projects with you today. Nice dresses to see, so please stay tuned to watch. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing. Limitless sewing today is about having fun with sewing and the pattern I have used the bodice from is the willow wrap dress from Love Notions. It's a pattern I have already made in the past. I have the original one there, I have one that I made new and this one that I made new to share with you today. I ended up taking a walk because my neighbor started cutting the grass. I'm just going to another street here, see if I can find a location that's a bit more quiet. <laughs> Today you see three dresses made with the exact same bodice. What changes is the type of skirt. They go from fula to pencil skirt or attached onto the same bodice. A bodice I know and I love that I've made before. The perfect type of project that can get you out of a stage where your sojo is really low and you just want something that you know is going to work that turns out just a little bit different but basically a type of instant gratification <laughs> that's what I've got to show you today short and sweet this is a sew and tell type video and it's all about the willow wrap dress from Love Notions now I wasn't going to make a full-on video about it because I already have some of these videos on my channel. This is a TNT pattern for me. The one that I could just take this wrap bodice, make it up and I know it's going to fit. It was updated last year to include all the sizing from extra small to 5X. The bodice is a wrap bodice and there's one that's just simply wrapped. The other one has some ruching on the side, sleeve options. There's also one where you can put a little flounce here on the wrap. I think that's really cute but I've never done that one. You can put on a skirt or a peplum, so all the options you want. Last year I made the dress in a rayon spandex and at that opportunity I lengthened the bodice. I chose the cut line here that is higher so that it's a nice height so I don't have to worry about showing my bra. And I love that. <laughs> I had the pattern ready to go. Maybe two months ago I was at a stage where it was the end of the year. I was exhausted. I didn't want to sew anything, but I really wanted to sew something. It's very strange feeling that I get sometimes maybe you do too you do want to sew something but you don't know what to sew you're not motivated you don't want to sew something too complex I'm sure as the same as it happens to you your sojo goes into a bit of a crisis it does happen to me but I still need to keep sewing I still need to keep making content for the channel because it is my job so I'm not going to just disappear for several weeks you know I keep doing things and one of the things that I do is take something I've made before, something that I know fits, so I don't have to worry about that. The fitting thing is out of the picture, there's no stress there. I have a bodice that's already fitted to me, it's all good. All I need to do now is have fun with it, maybe do something different. And that's what I've done this time to the willow wrap dress. You know, I have a bodice ready to go and what I wanted to do now this time was just make the skirts a little bit different. So the skirt is A-line, it's got a bit of volume but not that much. I wanted to make one with a bit less volume and then I wanted to make another one with a pencil skirt. I also wanted to add on some short sleeves just for a change, you know, not everything has to be sleeveless. The Willow Wrap dress is $5 today, that's why I'm showing you this video today, give you some inspiration. If you're adventurous in your sewing and you are happy to make some changes to your patterns, this could give you some ideas for more alternatives you can do with bodices that already you like and you know that fit you my affiliate link is below in the description box it's only five dollars super great value i'm going to show you first the one that i made last year maybe you haven't seen it but that is the original willow wrap dress and then i'll go on and show you the other two ity versions this is one of them but you can't really see it right now <laughs> So let's go ahead and see all these things on. This is the willow wrap dress I made last year with this rayon spandex. It is the original skirt. It is a little bit longer than the original. I did lengthen the bodice so it hits my waist. The pattern still has two cut lines for the neckline, one that is lower and one that is higher. So I'm glad to have that option of feeling really, really secure. My bra not showing, I don't have to worry about that. It's totally pin free and it's a very flowy dress. I have lined the back of this one because I had the extra fabric so the back layer is double. And for this one, I did the bodice that has a little bit of ruching right there, little pleats. And this is a large to extra large size and I super love it. Now the next two that I'll show you, they have the same bodice. I have used the short sleeve option. 
but I've played around with the skirts. So this one is really nicely A-lined, it's not a full skirt, but the next ones are going to get smaller and smaller. <laughs> This is my second willow wrap dress. It has the same bodice, short sleeves added, and instead of having that fuller skirt, which wasn't that full, this one's just slightly less full, and it has a little flounce at the bottom that doesn't have much volume either, just for a little bit of interest. The bodice otherwise is the same. I have the same ruching here, and it's just a different fabric as well, ITY. I do have a slip underneath because I didn't line this bodice but it's just a very lovely dress and I super love it. It's always really nice when you know a pattern fits and you can just whip it up real quick and you know it's going to be amazing. And I love this fabric, I love the colors. I have ruching here on this side as well, a little bit right there. The crossover is the same and the little flounce at the bottom, you can't really see it that much because of the print. Here you can see my binding inside, it's made out of rayon spandex, it keeps everything nice and neat without needing a pin just leaves up to there which is nice same fit same everything it's just nice putting in a skirt that's a little bit different so i just think it's amazing to use a bodice that you already like and change the skirts a little bit you don't have to worry if it fits it fits i know this crossover is exactly where i want it to be i don't have to wear a cami or be worried about it's sliding or doing anything like that it's very secure and that's the way i want to dress i don't want to be fiddling around and putting pins and snaps and things so love it the next one I'll show you is also a TY same bodice only the skirt there just became a pencil skirt so it's a little bit more fitted My dress I mentioned that the skirt was in narrower and this is basically just a pencil skirt on the bodice super easy to do same fit same bodice that I already love but with a different look it is ITY as well so I do have a slip underneath the difference with this bodice here on the top you won't tell because it's a print is that I've crossed the left over the right the other ones will cross over the other way so you would have the ruching on the left side in this case I have it on the right side and I was distracted, I suppose. I just, you know, I just did it without thinking, but I don't really think it makes a difference. I think you can wear wrap dresses whichever way you want them to be. I have two that are to this side, and now this one's to that side, and it makes no difference. So here is where I have the ruching there. I like the bodice with the ruching. I think it gives it something extra. I love that. Otherwise, it's the same, the same binding inside, same sleeves. This one is a little bit shorter than the one I've just shown you because my fabric was less, so I just made the sleeve a little bit shorter. I know this video was very short and very sweet. It was just to show you the dresses. The sewing I have already shown in several videos already. I will link them down below. I've shown you how I do the binding, all the things, how to put the bodice together. It's already in the channel. Go ahead and look for those videos. If you want more details, I've linked them down below. Okay, can you hear that? That is a, a truck that sells gas and he comes announcing his arrival. Yeah, he's, he's interrupted many of my videos before. <laughs> I know this video was a little bit messy, a little bit different, but I had to adapt. I really had to film right now. And I was able to come back here and put the camera in the same place to say goodbye. The grass stopped for a few minutes. I'm sure it'll start back up again. So I'll just be quick to say goodbye. Have a lovely weekend if you sew on the weekends. I hope you do a lot of things for yourself. And please stay tuned to everything that's going on on the channel. There's some really exciting things that are going to happen very, very soon. I'm super excited about them. So make sure you turn on your notifications that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when those special ones come up very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. What can